Welcome, hello, thank you so much for tapping in, turning on, tuning in with I, Enchantress the Babbler, on our evolutionary high. So this one's going to be a super moon, new moon in Pisces read. So super new moon, new moon in Pisces for all signs. Yay! So we're going to go and we're going to travel through each of the signs, right? So um, so this super, so this, this new moon is a super new moon, right? So what that means is closest point to Earth. And so what that means for the sign of Pisces is things are going to be amplified, right? Things are going to magnify. So energies are going to be intensified right and so that's that's there's nothing wrong with that and Pisces being the this the, the all feeling sign that it is dependent upon where you are in your state of evolution and what other astrological configurations um exist within your being it's gonna be a different experience for all but you definitely should definitely go follow me on Instagram at Enchantress, E-N-C-H-A-N-T-R-E-S-S. That's me, the one and only. And you can also subscribe for just 99 cents and be privy to exclusive content of hundreds plus more growing content that has recipes, DIY strategy, tarot readings, oracles, advice, um, one-on-ones with I, um, let me be your insta pocket news of inspiration, motivation. Um, it is um, for your evolutionary revolution. Um, yeah, for just something like sense, you get a whole bang for a buck in evolutionary care. There's even a recipe recently shared um, for, for um, Pisces new moon juice because we're associating a watery season uh, that can feel heavy and stuff like that. Um, I have a recipe for that too, new moon um, inflammation recipe for juice. Um, there's recipes for smoothies. There's recipes, a lot of things. There's recipes for DIY, how to get out of your own mind. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so there's loads of mana for you to soak up over there for just 99 cents and you can feel free to cancel at any time okay you can also find me on tiktok alchemistic poetess that be me or you can go visit my website and subscribe over there for free at witchyutopian.com thank you so much so either way we are going to um give messages for this new moon, super moon in Pisces for all signs, right? So one thing about Pisces is learning, one thing that they can teach us is the surrendering to the flow of life, right? Instead of forcibly pushing and pulling and stuff like that, right? Daring us to dream a little bit, to dream, to dream, to dream, right? Pisces is one of the most spiritually active, intuitive and emotional of all the signs, right? And not only is it all of these things, but it's magical, it's enchanting, right? Pisces is captivating. That's what I wanna say, Cap it, it, Pisces, the sign of Pisces is captivating, right? So we are reminded with this energy, right? Um, that we are spiritual beings made up of Starbucks. Star, star, Starbucks. <laughs> Maybe some of you are made up of Starbucks. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really go to Starbucks, but that's funny. I have, and I and there's things that I like. I like their iced matcha, um, iced matcha with almond milk and cinnamon. Um, I don't know how I mean, I mean how we like it. But um anyway, so <laughs> maybe tell me you love Starbucks. <laughs> okay, if you love Starbucks, let me know in the comments and what be your drink of preference from Starbucks over there. Um, and do you do dairy or non-dairy? Um interested to know. 
Um, and if you would consider doing non-dairy, if you do dairy, it just to see the difference in your own, um, even in your own intuition. All right, so, okay. So Pisces reminds us we are these spiritual, beautiful beings, right? Made up of stardust. <laughs> <laughs> enchantment right having and we're having a human physical experience here on earth right so pisces are the dreamers the idealists right um the space cadets right um uh, so right space cadets right and their heads are always in the clouds right one with their dreams it's like you know whatever one with their dreams and i look down I messed it up because I, I moved it again, but I lost the card. But anyways, maybe I'll see. I saw it. <laughs> maybe it was just meant for me to see, but it was the castle. Yeah, anyways, I don't know where I went. <laughs> but I did see it. I did see it from my own personal intuition deck, right? So, um, so the heads are in the clouds. I was in a dream, right? So Pisces, if if, it can, if Pisces was an entity to speak, right? They step into the flow of life, right? Hear your intuition, listen, listen, right? Be bold, express from your soul, right? Get lost, have fun. Have fun in your fantasies, in your imagination. See where it takes you, right? Play, dare to dream. Dare to dream while letting go of the need to control the outcome, right? Um, so new moon times are always an excellent time for resetting, um, starting from a blank slate, blank slate. <laughs> right? Fresh start, beginning again, right? Um, new moons are also linked to um, the menstrual cycle of bleeding women, right? Um, right? So usually, um, First day of a woman's menstrual cycle starts. First day of a woman's cycle. The first day of a woman's period starts their cycle. <laughs> right? So the new moon usually lasts between two to three days within that time, right? And for, within that time, Pisces evokes these feelings, right? So asking, feel into your emotions with and, and inner wisdom too, because you have that inside of you, right? So this is a time of reflection. Who was the castle? <laughs> that was what I saw. All right. Okay. All right. So, right. It's about introspection, right? Reflection, right? Um, and and this is a good time, right, to reflect upon the last moon to gain clarity on what you wish, right, to bring forth in the next new moon too, and the intentions that you set for this, right? And also Pisces is all about less doing and more being. I like that. Less doing and more, that might be the title. <laughs> and more being, right? Right, so slow down, right? And pause, find your inner oasis, right? Doing equals external success. And being is essential for inner success. So it's like divine masculine and divine feminine energies existing within you that need to cooperate harmoniously too, right? So yeah, so we are now, we are going to travel through every single sign. I wanna actually write this because everything will be timestamped for you below. So remember that we are more than one sign. You can travel through every single sign, right? Um, we are more than one sign. So for this reference, you can check your sun, moon, rising, north node sign, Venus, and you can check them in both Vedic and Western astrology, as I do. So for example, right? So I'm just going to go with the basics of the sun, moon, just go with sun and moon, so that you can see what I'm talking about. So for Western astrology, my sun sign is Sagittarius. In Vedic astrology, my sun sign is Scorpio. In Western astrology, my moon sign is Pisces. In Vedic astrology, my moon sign is Aquarius. Okay? 
So we have our sun, our moon, we have all the planets down going. But I always like to highlight for these kind of readings, right? Depending on what it is that you're seeking and wanting to know. But just for the basic, like general, it's sun, moon, rising. You could check like the North Node. So like, it's like, cause your North Node is your true node, right? So it's like where you aspire or what you need to learn, like what lessons from this, from the old life, which will be your South Node, right? From the old way um is 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 needing to be grown or learned or applied now in your life so north node is excellent to look at um because it may not necessarily be what's happening but it might be the key to what needs to be happening right so north node where am I? north node is another key to what needs to be happening or invoked, right? In some kind of capacity, in some kind of way, right? So you have any close look at your Venus if you're looking for love, but depending on if you're a male or a female, because I believe for the male, you should look at Jupiter or some shit like that. But anyways, we're not gonna go so detailed into that. I'm not like, I'm not, um, whatever. So, but either way, look into your Vedic, and Western, and why do I say this? So, because I find that they both apply and depending upon where you are in your state of evolution, I feel like where you might be stuck in your sun sign, which you have been accustomed to believing, like let's say you're a sun sign Sagittarius, but then you learn now, oh my gosh, in Vedic astrology, I'm a Scorpio, right? And your answer might be in Scorpio, right? Because it's like the flip side to a coin. It's like your shadow and light attribute and they shine at different times. Right. So so it doesn't mean, oh, my gosh, that means the other one is my shadow. No, it just it just means where you are in the spectrum of your own evolution. You can talk more about that if you want to. And just my own inner sight. I have I have not known life without astrology and my own fascination with it. I have been reading and studying astrology for 30 something freaking years. I want to say 40 because for as long as I can read. <laughs> But um, we would go with 30, okay? <laughs> so either way, so we're going to travel through the signs and we're just going to give practical, whatever kind of advice, Olivia, um, to, to, to each of the signs that we pass through and visit to and stuff like that. And hey, all right, so we have 12 zodiac signs. Right, so we got Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sag, Cap, Aqua, and Pisces. I just want to make sure I didn't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Wait, mm -hmm. loosen up. Loosen up, you little craw bubbles. You're not a craw bubble. You're here and you're enjoying all of this and stuff like that. I'm not talking to you, but those that know about the crab appleness, I don't know who I'm talking about. Right? Those are the silent spectators, right? So beautiful. Sagittarius, Capricorn, okay, of course, right? I don't know in what particular order I'm going to go in. I might go straight through. I might not. I, I don't know. We'll see how it feels. But either way, so we are super moon, new moon in Pisces, right? Activations, evolution, messages for every sign. Okay, just give me one second because my cat's gonna drive me crazy, right? And then we'll begin. Welcome. So we are going to start off using my 
intuition oracles that I have made. Um, these are activators. Um, you can look at the picture and the whole thing is, the whole idea and the concept of this deck, of this deck is for you to connect the dots. Right, so it's for you to connect the dots to your own intuition, into your own connection with the divine, into your own connection with your highest of self, your ancestors, your guides, your angels, whatever it is that is divine to you. And so that's the purpose of um, these cards that um, I I'm constantly making and stuff like that. And so there's spiritual activators, light code activation that you can meditate upon for clarity, for answers, for connection. So um, to learn more about these cards and stuff, I'm, I, I share them more on my Instagram subscriber platform or it's exclusive content there. Um, and you can learn more about these until I, I share more of these publicly and stuff like that. But either way, these are my intuition, light code activation, connector card. Okay. All right. So we are going to begin. Welcome to your super moon, new moon in Pisces, activations and evolution messages for every sign. You check your sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, and Vedic and Western astrology. Okay, right. so we're gonna start off with Aries. Aries, what is your activation, intuition, activation? All right, you can screenshot it. All right, you can screenshot and just stare into it for three minutes at a time if you want. And if you're brave enough to share with me, if you do screenshot it and after meditating upon it, you know, for your own light code activation, if you share it here in the commentary, my goodness, I will thank you. And then do it. Okay. All right, Aries, what is your light code activation? There we go. Ah, the butterfly. Aries. To those of you who have Aries in your chart, whether it's your sun sign, moon sign, rising sign, Venus sign. Here we go. Screenshot this if you want. Pull it around. Screenshot. There we go. All right. All right. Let me pull you, Aries, a soul truth. Am I getting enough rest to restore my energy and fully show up to my life? Those of you with Aries, you are the asset. This body is your vehicle. Notice how your body is feeling, how much sleep you are getting and what you can do to help your body rest. I am so serious. Go subscribe to my Enchantress Instagram. Um, it's only 99 cents. I'm keeping it there because it's not about the money. It's about the the honoring of our energy exchange for all the for all the mana that you will receive. It's priceless. 99 cents is just a token of your own investment into your own evolution. And it's a gratitude token towards me, the time that I'm giving and gifting, giving and gifting to you. But there's juice recipes, smoothie recipes that are excellent for for nourishment for inflammation so yeah like even here like your own cellular rejuvenation recalibration your own mental physical so there's a major transformation happening in your mentals your physicals 
<laughs> I feel trapped a little bit in here right now. Um, because <laughs> I got my back, I gotta go. <laughs> so I love that way to make fun go. Honey. <laughs> so I'm so sorry. So I feel like, so there's a major, major, major health transformation wanting to happen here for you, right? And stuff like that, right? These activations, right, that are happening for you, right? So am I getting enough rest to restore my energy and fully show up to my life, right? You are the asset. This body is your vehicle. Notice how your body is feeling, how much sleep you are getting and what you can do to help your body rest. Rest, stretch, fitness, health, fitness. So, so you might be thinking about um, your health, right? Health as well. Your mental health too. Maybe even seeing or talking to a qualified therapist and stuff like that to help you sort through. Or it doesn't have to be a qualified therapist. It could be someone that it's like a spiritual advisor or something like that too um, to help you sort out certain kind of kinks. Or maybe even getting a physical trainer. Is it a physical trainer? A trainer like at the gym or like or taking some kind of classes. Maybe even why don't you participate in my come stretch with me? This is free. I post these videos all the time in movements, right? Tai Chi, Chi Gong, um, stretch, exercise, dance, right? Dance, dance, right? So movement, active movement, um, martial art, kickboxing, something, boxing, or whatever, right? So today, so I know that it's just, it's about resting, but it's also caring, right? You might be dealing with some kind of inflammation too, right? I feel like um, certain kind of, and right now we're in Pisces season. So like I said, like go check out that recipe, that DIY recipe that I offer on my Enchantress, my Instagram platform for subscribers, right? Um, take a bath, put on some um, lavender essential oil, go to bed ridiculously early or give yourself a time out today. Notice your body thanking you. So your, your body might be under stress or you're starting to pay attention to what your body needs. Right, so that's the activation, right? During this kind of thing. So um, you might be experiencing trauma release or drama release, right? So, okay. Look how big these are. My hands can't even, I can't, look at my hands. <laughs> right, so, all right. What activation, messages, evolution do we have? Here for Aries, beautiful Aries here at this time that would be helpful to them here during this new moon and Pisces cycle. That is a super moon. What is activating for them? <laughs> what is activating? What needs to be? All right. So the world, your position to in the world or in the world of those around you. So it's like um. So there's a right. So there's like beast around you too. So it's like I feel like too like the star, right? Oh, sorry, I'm not even showing you guys stuff, right? So there's some leveling of like wish fulfillment that you seek to have in 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 the world, right? And there's a lot of activation going on in through you at this time. And so look, it's, it's like a chakra recalibration. You might, so there might be chakra blockages too, right? Depending, this is a mixed crowd and stuff like that, right? So, but there's something coming that you're healing, right? So this water, eight of coins, right? And working on, yeah. All right, so you're working on your image. So this water, ah, this watery season, this super new moon, right? Is learning how to channel your aggressions. Right, which is here to channel your aggressions, right? That which is um might burn you up inside or keep you stuck. It could be like um, it's like explosive, it's like lava, it's like like coming to and then a climax, and you might shut down, right? So, or burn out, burn out, burn out, right? So now you have this watery super moon, new moon in Pisces, this water to 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 pour all over you, right? To pour onto you, right? So you have this water energy, right? To help you um, drown out those aggressions, those hidden aggressions, 
and find healthier ways to communicate them and to bring them out into the world. So this is like working with some Pisces, this new moon of Pisces energy is going to be triggering probably for you um, how you communicate certain kind of things into the world. Because this is not bad. This is, you're working on something. You're working on you. You're working on the thing the best way that you possibly can. But there might be certain kind of aggressions or certain kind of um, fiery elements within you. Like, I, like I'm, 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 this word is what keeps on um, popping out. Beast of prey. I keep looking at that. Beast of prey. Right? So it's like your beast, your beast side, your savage mode, the one that wants to eat up everything because you can, right? It's that aggression kind of energy. And it's just like so this Pisces new moon, it's just like, all right, okay, okay, um, I'm going to help infuse with you my magic here to help you flow with the sense of life, right? Instead of forcing things or pushing it away right or pulling it and stuff like that it's like daring look at getting into your truth Aries Pisces season is gonna is asking you to get into your emotional truth about certain situations that um that are not right with you in the world because you're doing so much work on yourself that you owe yourself this truth this honesty this 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 revelation right and you hold that truth but the expression of it and then look at i'm looking at this like if it's water pouring onto truth i know you can't but if you can see that like it's like water pouring onto truth so i feel like there's this so it, there, could, there could be an outpouring of emotion or an emotional release or pride like, but a good pride, like, you know, to release it all out and stuff like that, right? Surrendering to the flow, right? Daring you to dream while letting go of the control of the outcome of how, or, or how you think you're perceived or looked or something. Just like really being honest about how you feel about, I think it's five or one, about the conflict in your life, the, the arguments, the, the fight, the discord. Right, the, the 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 conflict. So there could be challenges, there could be arguments, there could be certain things that leave you feeling impo like in poverty. Like it, this doesn't have to be in regards to finances. This could be in regards to just spiritual, um, like your own placement in the spiritual warfare, your own placement in position in the world, in the world, in the world area, right? That has you feeling at a disadvantage in some kind of way like, damn if you do damn if you don't like I, i'm in this shit like so it's like in this shit right so so okay what advice do we have your truth in regards to your emotion to whomever you need to speak it to be honest with yourself and even if your voice shakes even if it's so complex don't allow yourself to build up with such fume that you burn out. Start eating healthier too and channeling the aggression with exercise, movement, stretch, dance, boxing, whatever you have to do. Because this transformation out of the cataclysm of food might be grueling for you, but you are already here, the butterfly. You just have to see that. All right. Thank you so much. I hope that you like this. Let me know how you feel about these messages. 
um, we're moving on. Make sure to like this video. Also go check out other signs like your sun, moon, um, you know, um, right, sun, moon, rising, Venus, whatever, whatever I said. <laughs> All right, moving on to Taurus. What is Taurus? Hi, beautiful Taurus. The beautifully talented Taurus. How are you? So we are giving your super new moon in Pisces message for your own activations and evolution. Um, we're first going to pull you apart from my personal intuition connector, connect the dot, light activation deck. <laughs> it's just my own personal, right? So what you can do is you can screenshot it and you can stare and meditate upon it for three minutes at least. And if you're brave enough and kind enough, you can come back here and share your insights um, with your light code activator um, intuition cards, okay? So which one is for you, Taurus? Oh, there you go. Wow, your spiritual ascension, right? Here we go. Connecting the dots, you are the key key to the world right you are the key to the world the key to the world is the key to yourself right combining opposing energies with perfect balance right sitting on the throne of god our mark above our mark above truth i love that all right you do a lot of um remote viewing for those of you that understand that or astral projecting you may spend a lot of time there taurus in the world of travel into the ethers, <laughs> right? So what is the soul truth for you, beautiful, right? How are you? What is, ooh. Taurus, am I letting fear stop me, right? So are you experiencing a mountain of fear right now? Are you stalling, freezing, or giving up? The juicy secret is that you are the boss of fear. You are unstoppable, but it is up to you to see that by taking action. Today's soul action. Today, be brave and do it. Scared. Choose one fear and move through it. You are in need of a hero, so that is who you will become. Right? That's your soul truth card. I love that for you. Right? So when you're into the certain kind of flow, so there's certain kind of fears. So there can be certain kind of communications too I hear right certain kind of things that need to be said so the system where you might have Aries in your chart too you might want to go check out Aries reading as well um so right so for those of you so there is you connect so many dots you know how to do things but there's still something missing missing from that equation that keeps you beloved. Remember this is a mix crowd here. So this could be a challenge, your relationships, your love life, your friendships, right? So, so traveling through these relationships that can keep you in a fearful state, right? But look, coming out of it, six of swords, right? So coming out of some kind of challenging time, for some, this could be um, with a partner, right? Coming out of, A difficult time. It's going to be different for everybody. I just hear so many different things. Like, I don't want to start saying, you know, one kind of thing. And then it's just so many different kind of things. So it's like, so it's like eight of coins. Okay. So, yeah, definitely go also look at Aries reading. And you might have Aries in your chart too. So, so, so for this, right? 
So for this super moon, I just have it written super moon right in there, right? Super moon and Pisces, these activations and evolutions, right? So you got a lot of things that you are working on. And so this new moon in Pisces, right? Um, in regards to, so, so you might have had a recent, and the, the cycle of time, it, it, it can be, look, it could be eight months, eight years, it could be eight weeks or whatever the case may be. But um, there's been some time of challenge or difficulty in regards to um, your loved one. And this could be in friendship too. This could be in friendship too. Or oh, it could be in both love life and friendship. And so this has put some levels of fear in you that might hold you back from maybe even collaborating or, or reaching out or making new friends or something like that too. So um, the Hierophant, right? Or even in your marriage, right? This is a mixed power here. So this could be working through and working on a certain kind of fault, a marriage that was falling apart, a friendship that was falling apart, a business that was falling apart. Right, and it's coming out of that time with renewed, like with renewed, renewed, renewed something, right? Queen of Wands, right? Because in your power, in your element, in your magic, in your majesty. So it's like, so Taurus, this 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 um, super moon, moon, moon in Pisces is like a a a, a refresh level. Like, all new moons and stuff like that, right? It's about a, a blank slate, a new beginning, right? A fresh start. So after much introspection, after much reflection, after much um, detection and um, accountability, right? So there may have been things that you were responsible for too, that you might be coming to terms with. But there's a certain level of forgiveness happening here that wants to open up into your heart sick to bring balance into your life, right? In regards to friendships, in, in regards to relationships, in regards to business, in regards to that which you are working in, right? Because there's something that wants to be born, right? Something new and something coming fast. There's something too, right? Something that you, you prepare for now, that you start now, oh, Taurus, if you work through your fear and do that which you must in order to get that which you want, there will be a change that you will see. That's a major transformation. You know what I mean? For a next new moon cycling, this could be also in cancer season as well, right? So we are in Pisces. There's then up for Pisces. It's Aries, right? Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. Right, so if you work on something right now that you might be fearful, so it, it could be like putting out something. It could be putting out a, a certain type of work, a certain type of style of work, um, or reaching out to 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 potential business collaborators, or reaching out like this is this is like or making amends, right? Making amends right here to of some sort, but either way there will be um, progression if you can work past your fear with your chakra blockage. You know what I mean? So what advice do we have for Taurus right now? Forward. Maybe to unblock their throat chakra. What can we do to unblock their throat chakra? Sing, whether you can sing or not, it doesn't matter. Sing. Last that music. Five of Cups, right? Taurus is to go deep. <laughs> so you might be fearing, the fear might be rejection. And that is where we are in the super moon moon. So magnifying the energy of rejection that you might feel slighted about in certain kind of thing. So look at Ouroboros. I see the or Ouroboros here, the serpent eating its own tail, right? Ouroboros that's here. 
to, it's a cycle that wants to complete itself. And so that if you can let go of your fear of rejection, you can let go of your fear of rejection, then you could be on to more different opportunities that might feel like overwhelming for you to choose from too. There's more opportunity out there for you in, in the state of Sudan, like if I'm sure. So, right. Five, five, ten, ten. This too could still be the lingering energy of what's going around, like conflict with other kind of energy. Um, battle, battling it out, whether it's energetically, if there's spiritual warfare, or whether it's in your own, because look at this, this is like, I feel like he's working the labyrinth of his own fuck shit, right, his, in his mind, right, about all this other energy outside, like all these other pentacles and stuff like that, so you can also be worried about finances as well. So just be mindful to the super new moon, right, in Pisces, um, that to surrender to the flow, right? Instead of forcibly pushing and pulling, right? Dare to dream, be brave, right? Because there's progression here. There's progression here. We have progression through all of this other kind of stuff, right? Um, also, for some of you, you might go from the status of um, married to single, couple to single, or single to couple. Okay, where it fits, right? but some kind of the like queen of swords kind of shit, right? So in your truth, in your power, in your position, ready, armored, <laughs> right? So it's also um, nourishing that hardened position that, right? Look at Page of Cups. So maybe even apologizing or someone apologizing to you too or even pregnancy for some fertile fertility but yeah working through your fear knowing that when you're bold my dear you're creating the atmosphere exactly to be that what you need it to be to manifest that what you want okay <laughs> okay thank you very much this is your opportunity to like this video um comment um share this um also go check out other placements in your signs like i said definitely go check out aries but we're moving on to Gemini. right hello gemini are you right so i am going to pull you from a, a connector card from my intuition deck um, what you can do is you can screenshot it if you like and meditate on the image for at least three minutes at least. And if you are brave enough and kind enough, come back here and show your inner sights too with um, your meditation card, your intuition card, your intuition activation card. Right. So here we are, Gemini, um, for this new moon in Pisces, super new moon in Pisces. Um, magnifying the energies of influence that are here for you at this evolutionary time. Um, here is your intuition card. There you go. Yes, I'm marked by travel, some telomere cap. Remove all those telomere caps. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Either way, you can take a picture. I'm trying to give it to you. Like, you can meditate on it. <laughs> oh my God, I think it was too adjusted. <laughs> but either way, Okay, so that was your image. So what is your soul truth? Gemini, what is your soul truth? How is the super new moon in Pisces affecting your emotional realm? 
Babe. Hey. What is your soul true? <laughs> Am I willing? Right? You are on the edge of something great. Can you feel it? Yes, there is risk, uncertainty, and imperfections ahead. Failure is certain, and vulnerability is a requirement. You must be brave and trust yourself more than ever before. You will reach the dream, but you must stretch yourself into a whole new level of belief and willingness in order to move forward with courage. Today's full action. Be brave. Follow your heart's compass and lift the lid on your own dream. Today's mantra is possible. I feel like there's a theme happening here so far where Aries on Taurus Gemini of uh, being brave and 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 conquering their fears right so conquering your fear about something right are you willing to do something more to get that which you want are you willing to surrender to the flow of life and to 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 that which you want to create are you willing to act in your own favor are you willing to do that which you want to do or not that which others want you to do? Are you do you even know what you want? How do you feel about a certain kind of thing, right? So nothing. That's just the right. So what advice evolutionary guidance do we have for children I hear at this time? Right? Less doing more being. Less doing more being. Less doing more being. Right? The emperor. Tapping into that divine energy within your whole entire being. So this is a new moon in Pisces, right? Helping you tap into the full aspects of yourself in divine ways. You got the empress with the queen of swords. Knowing your power, knowing your truth, knowing your ambition, knowing that what you are creating, that's what you're working on and tapping into so parents too. So some kind of like celebration as well. This is like um again, I feel like even like engagement, wedding, um, some kind of commitment, some kind of unification, some kind of um Too, right? So, right, that is with the five of coins, too, right? So, at the bottom of the top, at the bottom of the three, right here. So, I'm not taking that badly. I'm taking that as having to leave behind certain kind of energies that would have you in this five of coins feeling left out in some kind of way. So, there's the, you are the empress, right? And you are in your, your position of power and place. You're, you're, you're activating certain kinds of things. You're working on certain kinds of things. You are in a nice um, place of, of giving and receiving. Well, this is the opportunity for that. But in the emotional realm, there may be areas where maybe you have left people out or where you have, um, where, or where others have tried to make you feel this way. But there's something that wants to come in that is of reciprocity, of even give and take from that which has been taken away. This could also have been, right, um, the abundance that others might try to keep, right, completely from the truth, right? So you're in your truth. You're also learning something. So this is an excellent time where you might be learning something new, a student to something, something learning a, a certain skill, um, learn, learning a certain kind of um, trade, trade school, um, college, whatever, a degree, a certi certification of some kind, right? Um, for some, you may have even lost recently certain money on a certain kind of investment that didn't go exactly the way that you have wanted us here, right? Um, so, um, all right, but this moon, moon in Pisces, right? So, this moon, moon, super moon in Pisces, what's being activated? Um, so, what is the opportunity? 
Right. Okay. So, so there's certain things that you have to um, sacrifice. Certain labors. So there's a certain labor that you have to do that you have to sacrifice now too for the truth of the path that you're on in regards to that which you are trying to make. Right. And there's a there's a there's an opportunity. Or there's a decision that you have to make. You might have areas in your chart too, right? For someone to definitely go check out areas and you might have towards too in your chart. So definitely go check those out as well. But um Oh, in your collaboration. So it's emotional collaboration. It's tapping more into your emotional development and maturity in regards to how you are pouring your love into the situation. So Pisces is here to teach you how to pour your truth, your love, your passion into a certain situation. Right, because something is coming down, right? You got the tower card here. So this is like right, right? Because you're on your way to your own wish fulfillment and things like that. And things are great and stuff like that. And you're planning and you're doing and you're executing and, and you're in position and stuff like that. But it's very like something with your emotions, fire. So definitely check out if you have fire in your chart. So if it's air, if you have a, like a, a, a fire moon or um, fire rising or something like that, or Mars fire, right? And how you pour into others. Pisces, the energy of Pisces wanting to create an emotional spark within your whole entire being that you have a talent. Like if you can tap into this leveling of emotion within your whole entire being, you have the talent of communication to articulate and express or create something that's going to be best and beneficial to those, to others. So you have a gift inside of you that is traveling inside of you, right? That you're, you're, you're untapped potential. Because here we got a telomere, right? And the history of telling you is that they put a cap on it, right? To to stop a certain kind of um growth within us. So you have something powerful that is needed for the world. Like you're the tower. You're the tower coming. You're the tower that's here. That has something to unleash because there's an untapped potential within you, right? And Pisces, the energy Saturn. So we'll definitely check out um, my Saturn and Pisces reading that that's going to air later. <laughs> Not yet aired, but um, we um. Okay, so it could be in a relationship too. So it's like an emotional water or an atmosphere, some kind of some kind of dynamic period of some sort. Right? Coming together to unleash this.
I need to fall apart. Or this could also be healing a certain aspect of a broken heart from once upon a time ago that may have blocked you off from this flow. And, and Pisces is going to help you to let it flow, to let it go. Right? That's for some. That's not going to apply to all. But either way, the other message that I was saying is that there's something inside of you, untapped potential, that needs your articulation. And the Pisces season is going to help you tap into that untapped potential, right? Because um, there's something that needs to be to be activated, right? Transform a death cycle. We might have Scorpio in your chart too, or be dealing with a Scorpio or something like that, but the Wheel of Fortune, right? So this transformation of this untapped potential with this new moon in Pisces, it's like it's like having in a fucked dream that wake you up and you subconscious know. And so there's a leveling of creativity on the loose here, I feel, right? That's like rebirth, re rebirth, like a rebirth, right? And also judgment. It could be that once this untapped potential of yours is peaked, judgment here. So it's like, strength. Right, so it's like you're the. So once you tap into this untapped potential of emotion within yourself, there's going to be a um, type of effect that's going to be a catalyst for major transformation and change. If you can get there, are you willing? Are you willing to go there into those emotional realms? and travel into that leveling of emotional truth with existing within your passions, your fire, your energies, your energies, your love sphere. Yeah, okay, either way, thank you so much for stopping in and me on tuning in. You should definitely go check out other um, signs in your astrological chart. So we are moving on and then I have to answer. Yeah, Hello. Thank you so much for tapping in for me on TuneIn. Make sure to know other astrological configurations when you try to check out those signs too. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Make sure to like this video, to comment, and I hope you enjoy. So either way, this is your super moon, new moon in Pisces, activations, evolutions, connecting dots. So we're gonna pull you one of my intuition connector cards and to what you can do is you can just take a screenshot of the picture meditate on it for at least like three minutes or so and if you are kind enough and brave enough to come back here and comment and share um the insights that you have received from your own um intuition card meditation that would be lovely um either way here you go oop 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 what's coming up All righty. Cancer. In the eye of every storm, the master can be found. Cancer meditation. Intuition. Heart. In the eye of every storm, the master can be found. Cancer, I feel like there has been a lot of emotional. grievances that may not go away or does not go away or might be challenging for you in some kind of way. And so Pisces season might be a challenge for you altogether because you've got heavy water weight. So definitely go check out my Instagram at Enchantress and subscribe because I have a lot of DIY strategy, especially for maintaining and, and, and just, you know, healthy um, day-to-day -day 
things and just you know love and support that's over there for you and stuff like that and also um recipes diy strategy and a whole bunch of other exclusive content that is not available anywhere else and you might want to go check that out um for cancer what is your soul truth What do I resist feeling right now? You're accountable. We have to feel it to heal it. In order to let go of pain, we first have to honor its existence. Emotions are like waves. Some are soft, some are fierce, some are layered, and some will sweep you off your feet. When, we'll, when we allow ourselves to feel it all, we can then release what no longer serves us. Today's soul action, allow yourself to feel this way. Let it move through you, no matter how long it lasts, and release it back into the ocean. Feel it, heal it, enjoy the sweet freedom within your soul. Some of you feel it, but don't release it, right? We don't want to do that. So, the super new moon of Pisces. What insights, activations, evolution, message, advice do we have for the sign of cancer? Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Food, whatever. I have a point. Healing. Healing this aspect of loss, pain, rejection, feeling impo in poverty, um, four of cups, feeling like dissatisfied, right? So these might be highlighted things, this new moon, the ace of wands, but it wants to come, it wants to heal, it wants to, right, to look at. For some of you, you, you feel dissatisfied with love, Hurt by love, left out in the cold by love, right? Or just even finances, career, something, something, something is like cold. And you have so much passion, you have so much, you have so much love, so much. And look at you need to walk away from something. So this new moon in Pisces activation evolution is helping you or giving you the opportunity to heal through your fields for real, right? And give you the strength that you need and the ideas that you need in order to walk away from that which doesn't serve you, right? This discontent and stuff like that inside and all that could make that could make you feel like, you know, crawling into your crap shell and hiding, right? Um, it wants to rid right? Eight of wands and shooting your arrows out through. This new moon in Pisces, you might come up with a creative um, solution to, to issues, problems, and things like that, that may, you may have not seen the solution for before. So allow yourself to open up that door to solution during this time, right? Because look, you have lovers on your mind. So there might be love on your mind, um, and you might be shooting your arrows, or someone, someone might be shooting their shot with you too, this new moon in Pisces. So for some of you too, this could be new love or the desire for it, right? And the truth of that desire coming into, so look at the options that you might have. You might have more options that you realize in love, or you might feel like you don't have any options, right? But look at, yeah. So, so for some of you, you feel at a loss in regards to love, like you're crying over still um, past hurt and stuff like that. So this new moon in Pisces, is look at so this emperor so for some of you too something is coming into so be careful here because i'm seeing the ouroboros again right something coming into full circle so there might be something that just keeps cycling back and forth back and forth back and forth um and that cycle of back and forth in regards to love or regards to um partnering in regards to the idea of what you think about these kind of things it wants to wash away, right? So Pisces is all about that flow and letting go, right? This release, this new moon to help you release, to be bold, right? To release that which doesn't serve, right? And to shoot your shot out there into a world that might be unknown at this time, 
but you got to let go of the past that which doesn't serve you right so this is a new opportunity for love right and not realizing all the options you have but the opportunity to heal right so this is an opportunity to heal because look at there's an emperor this energy coming in right of someone in a position or maybe that's what you want to be right so suddenly like a knight of wands so here we go we left with the knight of wands so someone might be coming in right to so this emperor so there, there might be um new love new new love but be careful too please that this person is not just passionate lustful you know what i mean and so this is for singles i guess obviously i'll there i'm not actually talking to someone that's paired with a partner and things like that um but for those of you that might be paired with a partner there might be certain emotional aspects to your to you that might be you know i don't want to say moody or and all this kind of stuff but certain kind of um i don't want to say disappointment but yeah it could be a little bit of a disappointment or something that is now going to be worked on, right? Because that was the three of coins, seven of coins, and things like that. But for those of you that are single, the message that I have here is don't be so quick to jump into the sack with a person that comes in flying on their horse, pure, all passionate, and, and, and expressive, and emotion-filled, because that person is like a knight. Um, they're not a king. They're not an emperor or anything like that. They're just a knight. And so they might be passionate and they might be a playboy too, like playboy, playgirl, or, you know, whatever the case may be. So it's just to be careful with that. You know what I mean? Um, right, what messages of positivity do we have for cancer at this time in regards to this moon? Page of wands. So, yeah, so there might be something new that you are learning. So you might be so channeling your emotions, channeling your emotions in a healthier way, like getting out of the whole victimization kind of way too, of the way that you speak certain things. Right, because look at this three of wands, you're waiting for something to come in and you want it to come in. So in the meantime, you're going to be like a student of life. Um, this Pisces free flow, look at learning how to, to be less doing, more being, and learning how to understand what it is that you're being so that you can see what it is that you're receiving. All right. In a way, thank you so much for tapping in, turning on, tuning in. I hope those messages were helpful to you. Definitely go check out other um, astrological configuration places. <laughs> <laughs> Try other side, but which is next? We're moving on to Leo. Olivia, ah, uh, hold on. All right, thank you so much. Um, so this is just a little intermission to say that this is going to be a two part um video because my time has it's crunched and so um yeah so i'm going to do today um and then well you don't know the difference anyways <laughs> you don't know the difference anyways um because all these are previously pre-recorded and things like that so when you see these it's not necessarily when they were recorded and stuff like that but either way so definitely do check back for the rest of the videos because I have daily updates, right? At 12, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Eastern Standard Time, excuse the noise in the background. Um, <laughs> Eastern Standard Time. So when this airs, check back the next day at 12, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for video number two of this video, okay? All right, <laughs> excuse the yelling in the background. All right. Yeah. Andromeda, what you was doing? The Andromeda. 
<laughs> so, all right. So, welcome back. All right. So, we are moving on to Leo. So, we're going to do here, we're going to do Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, and maybe Virgo. And then part two would be for tomorrow. So, Leo, welcome. Hello, beautiful. How are you? So, for, I'm going to pull for you first. Shh, stop it. <laughs> Doug, Doug's barking at you. <laughs> Baby, <laughs> that's funny. Baby, stop it. She's a Leo. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. So we're up to Leo, and baby's barking, and baby's a Leo too. <laughs> She's actually double Leo in both Western and Vedic astrology. She's Leo, Leo. <laughs> well, he is important. So either way, thank you so much for tapping in, turning on, tuning in. This is your opportunity to like this video, to comment. So I'm going to pull for you my very own from my... Um, I'm going to pull from you my very own, from my own intuitive um, connecting um, with your own intuition, Oracle. That's so distracted. I was like, I know her style. I don't know, somebody was rapping outside. Okay, it's totally cool. I'm all for freedom of expression. Okay, but either way, so this is my own intuition connecting the dots, dot, right? Oracle deck that's conti continuously growing. So what you can do is I'm going to pull one for you. What you can do is screenshot the photo um, and meditate on it for at least like three minutes or so. Um, and if you are brave enough and kind enough, please do come back and um, share with, with I your insight into that, which because these are intuitive activators. Right, so you can go back to the beginning of the video where I explained the card. But either way, I'm gonna pull one for you. You can screenshot it, meditate upon it as often as you need, and come back. You know what I mean? And share your insights. You know what I mean? I'll write them down as well. So writing is important. All right. So what is your intuition connector card? Now it's time for Leo. It's part child you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is like cancer. Ah. So maybe you want to go check out cancer too. Maybe you have cancer in your chart in either Western or Vedic astrology as well. Um, either way, that is your card. In the eye of every storm, the master can be found. <laughs> All right, I'm so sorry about that. Okay, so I'm not. <laughs> Life is what it is, right? We must tend to that which we must, right? So back to your card, right? In the eye of every storm, the master can be found. And you have, and you go through many different kinds of storms, right? But you come off the master. Oh, let me pull a soul truth card for you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what is your soul truth? We're not going to be able to go to, through to Virgo. I have to stop here at Leo. So definitely do tap in, turn on, tune in to tomorrow's update daily at 1212 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There is a daily update video number two for this new moon in Pisces will be aired tomorrow. Okay. Whenever you see this, tomorrow. At 12, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, video number two to this will be shared. So definitely come back and check out that because you have more than one astrological configuration in your chart. All right, Leo, what is your soul truth? So in Vedic astrology, my, um, my rising sign is Leo. Hence why I'm so dramatic. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So, Leo, what is your soul truth? 
What is your soul? Truth. What risk can I take today? Be not mistaken, you will have to take bigger risk than you ever thought possible on this path towards your dream. You will have to take the big, scary leap. But do not fret because your soul has wings. Today's soul action. What risk can you take to move towards your dream? Make a decision and do it. No more thinking, only doing. Be brave and courageous and you will discover what you are really made of. I feel like too, when I heard even here, like you have a talent, a skill or something that um, wants to further flourish. And maybe you have been a little bit um, silent. I don't want to say silent. Um, this is a mixed crowd, so I'm getting a whole bunch of different kinds of stuff. Um, but there's something more for you to flourish upon that you can do, right? That is gonna activate others too, right? Um, in the eye of every storm, the master can be found. So you're mastering something now too. You could be learning something as well. Learning something new or polishing up your skills in a certain kind of way because you have a skill, a talent, a use, a function. So push yourself out there. Put yourself out there more in terms of offering this service. Right? What messages do we have for Leo at this time in regards to this new moon, super moon? It's a super new moon. Definitely go back to the beginning. We didn't see it from the beginning to see what I was talking about with the super new moon energy right now in Pisces. Right? So, what messages do we have for Leo at this time? Right? What super moon, new moon, and Pisces activations and evolutions messages do we have for you? Right? a lot of messages but guess what we're not doing that <laughs> you're not thinking that come on that's a lot of stuff all right here we go these cards can you see how humongous they are from my little thingy hands <laughs> and drop it down okay ace of swords Right, so this new moon in Pisces too, helping you to, so I feel, I like this. You might have Aries in your chart too. You definitely go check out Aries. I think it was an Aries, but there's certain, there's a certain kind of um, watering to your truth, to your passions, to your position, to, to your aggression, to King of Wands, right? So this fiery type of energy right here. Um, So, okay, see what I'm saying? So you're working on something right now. You're shooting your arrows out there. You're, you're, you're working on some kind of development, right? Um, into something. You're in your position of power, truth, um, radiating some kind of um, authority too. Like, right? So we're Leo, right? So King of Wands, Leo. Leo Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Sagittarius, right? Energy, this fire energy. You might have a lot of fire in your chart too, um, aside from just being a sun, moon, rising, whatever it is that you're here for. I just feel like, hold on. Because I'm hearing like in the eye of Aries storm, the fool. So, so the activation of that, I'm trying to look crazy on the tab. Sorry. But um feeling stronger in your position, your emotional position. So your emotional truth, right? And and finding ways to direct that emotional truth in healthier ways. Like so it's like taking a leap of faith because we got the full card here, right? Into the unknown path, right? And if you kind of like Hold on, <laughs> Hot in here. So, 
same. Right, I just feel like this hot flash too. So like there could be hot flashes of insights, hot flashes of so channeling. So you know what might work well for you too? Um, I'm sorry, this is like, just it's not gonna apply for everybody, but this is what's coming into mind. Um, so for me, I have, okay, so one of the things that I learned um, when I studied um, occupational therapy and massage therapy, right? Um, I used to, so before I really learned more about my Reiki healing energy and all this kind of stuff, I used to um, suffer from, from different spouts of heat, like energy, right? Whether it was in my hand, um, in my body, like, which brings me back to, if you watch any of my evolutionary vlogs, I talk about these fevers that I used to get as a child with a lot of different um, spiritual activations and overloads and all this kind of stuff, right? So I just feel like you you have a potency of an energy that is trapped to inside of your being. So it's like you have clairvoyance, you have clairaudience, you have you clairpotent, right? I coined that twin term clairpotency, right? Because um, it's all the clears wrapped up in one, and you're potent, right? But that doesn't mean that we always understand or understand all that potency. And so sometimes it can feel like a heat wave. It can feel so like also as a channeler, right? I just want to show you the different spectrums of body temperatures and stuff like that. I also go through a freezing state in my body and stuff like that where I'm, and that's usually when I'm making contact in some other kind of ethereal realm or stepping into some kind of other space in our dimension that um, is freezing, right? So I just want to show you the two different kind of extremes. There's heat and there's cold, right? Like these kind of spectrum. So I feel like right now, because I got really hot, right? When I'm talking to you guys, and it made me think of, and what I saw in my mind's eye was me placing my hands on the cold water, right? And that's how I used to relieve some of my um, excess heat. I used to put my hands and feet in cold water and sit in it. So it, it took... Um, one of um, the the uh, the Reiki master to um, one of my professors um, that worked closely with me. Um, she wanted to work with me from the day that she met me. She's like, I want to work with you. Do you know the power in your hands and all this kind of stuff? And I knew I had a sense of relief because she even showed me points that I can press to help relieve that excess heat and energy. You should definitely go check out my um, Instagram. Um, my subscription platform for only 99 cents. I have a lot of DIY strategy for us, um, you know, on our evolution, revolution, and day-to-day -day things that we can drink, do, be like, act like, um, activate, and all this kind of stuff. There's a lot of person personalization that goes on behind those scenes, but just 99 cents, it's not about the money, it's about the token of energy exchange and respect and honor between you and I during this time. I, I did already you'll have immediate access to over hundreds of um, exclusive content shared from nowhere else and it's to be helpful to you and how to disperse and and activate and also healthily um, um, navigate here on this 3D plane of perceived existence. Anyways, I didn't mean to get into that, but I don't know why that popped in, but um, that might not be for everybody, but that might be for somebody, you know what I'm saying? So this excess heat, so cold water, clean hands, in cold water or working, right? You might work with candles. You might work with fire energy. So now putting your fire into a bowl of water, of water and working with both elements. Either way, anyway, if you want more of that kind of stuff, definitely go to Instagram at Enchantress, E-N-C-H-A-N-T-R-E-S-S. Subscribe, follow, or you can even go to my website at witchyutopian.com because that's where we be, right? But either way, um, Leo, I just feel like there's a mastery of empowerment happening here. The more that you keep on um, emotionally maturing into your, your, your mastery of truth, your alchemy, right? And so this Piscean season, right? In the eye of every storm, the master can be found. 
right? And this is you in the eye of every storm, this labyrinth, right? This labyrinth energy that you walk, that you swim, that you fly, that you d dive in deep inside, right? You are activating from a very empowered state of being. Right, this is the opportunity, and it doesn't matter. Everybody's on a different level, different devil, different stage, different page, right? But the the growth here is the emotional revolution, evolution of truth that you're standing in your position of power and Piscean energy. Right, you might even have Pisces in your chart, like I like like I do. Like I have Pisces, there's no Pisces moon in, in Western astrology, right? So Pisces is coming to wash over and nourish these 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 very sensitive, these very fiery, these very explosive, this aggression, this, this pain, this anger, this hostility, this fire, this lava, right? This lava. And it's putting in like a lay. Lay? Wait, I just looked at the lay. I just got laid. <laughs> I'm serious, look. Right? So this position, of empowerment that you you're you're in this mastering of your alchemy this 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 strength this strength this is the strength this is your card this is Leo right so yeah so there's a a, a deepening of this energy bond this energy realm, this energy of love, Knight of Cups, right? This energy of empowerment, right? Taking you out of where you have felt rejected, where you have felt mis misguided, used, um, left out in the cold, right? Where you, where others have made you feel less than and strength. I was saying strength, but here the strength reminds me of the Leo card either way, but we got the Leo card right here, the sun. Right, so the only the sun card in any in any reading, even if it comes out reverse, if you take reverse with all that, is still a great message of wish fulfillment. Right, so you're working on that, and 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 this is a great alchemy. So this moon, right, this moon card, you even get the moon card up in here, right? Um, it's happening, right, because you're the high priestess. So a strengthening of your intuitive powers your psychicness, um, I really feel strongly this super moon, new moon in Pisces is activating for you your psychicness, your empowerment, your clara potency, your gifts, right? Um, and you're riding out like the knight, right? A sword, like charged up. So it, there might be a uh, seven of cups and the lovers. So yeah, so some kind of um, forgiveness too that um, from the past, because I'm looking at these cups of the past. So some kind of forgiveness from the past has to be had. So that could be, right, because we've got the lovers card. So look at you, see how um, she's touching or he's kissing her hand. And that might be what you want. For so that's what my so yeah you might be working on that little page of cup where where people ask you for forgiveness but you got to get over that you got to not expect that you have to not want that you have to let it go you have to already have that you already have to have my so yeah so you already have to have that sorry I don't want to get the king of coin while you're working a lot on your energy energy and your coin. You're flourishing. You're flourishing. You're flourishing. And a deepening of love too at this time, commitment. Um, Ace of Cups too. This could be a pregnancy as well. Right? This could be a love union. Uh, uh oh the Ace of Cups, you got love here. The making, so making love, being in love, receiving love, having love, holding love, making a baby. Um, renewing your vows. I'm um, traveling with love. Um, yeah, so a deepening of love. A deepening of love, this Pisces new moon season for you. 
All right, thank you so much for tapping in, turning on, tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed these messages. Remember video number two of this where I will continue starting from Virgo, then Libra, Scorpio, Sag, Cappy, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Ten of coins, because that's what we're building up in here. <laughs> Happily ever after. All right, so thank you so much for tapping in, turning on, tuning in. Till next time, bye-bye.